Hey yo, what it do baby, it's your boy Dynamic And before I get into the main topic of the video And before I discuss what I want to discuss with you guys today I just want to thank you guys again for 200 subscribers I know I made kind of like a 200 subscriber special video for you guys And I hope you guys enjoyed it And yeah, so anyways I'm gonna talk a little bit about the video today So basically... What the hell am I doing here? Okay. So basically what the video is about is hanging on to win the game. There's games where the score, you notice right away that the, the teams are pretty even. That the game matches you up. The skill based matchmaking matches you up versus even players, I would say, about your skill level. And if you don't play to the best of your ability, it's really easy to go down by a lot. So pretty much as this game was going on, I noticed rather quickly that the other team they they matched up pretty good so what we had to do was i me and k bliss my cousin we're the best two players on the team we basically i mean i don't want to sound cocky or anything but we we kind of had to put the team on our so on their shoulders and make it our responsibility for us to win the game and the best way that you can do that is obviously team deathmatch so this is not an objective oriented game type this is more just be good at killing and not dying and if you want to be good at killing and not dying what you have to do is basically try not to die if your whole objective is playing smart you can still rush you can still you can still have an up-tempo gameplay you just can't do you can't do idiotic things like i see players that that they risk for the sake of getting maybe one or two kills, they risk their life and they put themselves in bad positions to succeed. And if you really think about this, a lot of people don't think about this, but if you do bad in a game, you are basically dragging down your team. Not just not just because you had a bad performance, but you are also giving the enemy team score streaks. If you are doing really terrible in a game and you're making dumb mistakes, you're going to be feeding the other team you're going to be feeding them something that's going to help them get even more kills. But not just on you, also on your teammates. So you're dragging your teammates down. So what I would suggest is if you're not a really skilled rushing player, this is going to contradict something that I've said in the past. But in reality, I understand why some of the lesser skilled players, I guess you could kind of say that they camp and they stay in a corner. They'll, they'll just wait. To me, that's camping. What I'm doing right now, that's not camping because basically I'm setting up defending a position. Me and K Bliss, we know we know where the spawns are. We want to be in a good position to get our score streaks because in the end the score streaks are going to help us win and going to help us help our teammates. And if you guys noticed, me and him are doing work, but the score is really really close. So even though the score is close, I guess uh, you could say that we're carrying. That's basically what I said in the beginning of the match. But we have to. We we there's nothing else we could do but doing this we're we're helping our teammates i mean i don't have a uav on that's obvious but i mean i'm i'm helping them at least push up to the middle because if we me and him were in guard in the middle then uh, i doubt it that they would have gone they would have been able to to maintain and get to the middle so that was our job basically the whole match also something else that i do to help my teammates out is that when I go into a game, when I go into a game and the lobby is really, really good players. There's really good players on my team and on the other team. And I know that I'm not going to be able to get my score streaks that easy if, I, if I'm if i using high score streaks. What I like to do is use the, use the UAV, counter UAV, and the orbital VSAT. Or use the UAV, the orbital VSAT, and the EMP. And the reason that I do that is... Because I, I want to maximize my teammates' potential. So when I do that, I, I'm, giving them, I'm giving them basically my contribution. I'm trying to help them build their, their score streaks, basically. And that's something that I like to do, you know, try hard mode. You play versus players that are really good. And we all know players that play in the game. And if the lobby is too tough and the players are really, really good players, they, they would rather back out right and lose they would rather lose and back out after the first match or maybe the second match when they see that twice in a row they have gotten destroyed basically they would rather back out than stay in a game i'm not one of those type of players because if you don't if you don't endure the bad situations if you don't if you don't try to handle how you how are you going to get better 
I mean, you're not, you're just, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get better. The only way you get better, or one of the ways that you get better, is facing, is is facing tough times through adversity, not just in gaming, in life. So if if something is a little tough for you and you quit, what's that saying about you? Well, that's the way I view it. So I I never I try to stay in the game, even though I'm if I'm ever getting destroyed, which it doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. If if I'm ever getting destroyed, I will stay in the match, and I will I will play my ass off just so that I so I can, it's just, first of all it's a challenge. Second of all, I know that it's gonna improve the player that I am. And if you guys don't know, I mean it's 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 great for your brain, especially. You know how they have those videos on YouTube, those promotional videos about uh, brain plasticity and how you could train your brain doing these brain games and stuff like that, all these little training games. There's nothing that is going to improve critical thinking or fast reaction than playing Call of Duty or playing Halo, by the way, if you, you're into Halo. Or playing any competitive game that is incredibly, that you play versus other people that is incredibly competitive and in my opinion call of duty is the most competitive because people take it to heart last night in one of my games there was a girl with a little bit too much of testosterone and this girl was raging every time i killed her so people take it to heart and people play tough i don't know if you guys know but when your brain is working od and you're working overtime your brain burns calories and that might be a reason why these players that play 12 hours a day like 90 percent of these mog pros are skinny anyways guys peace out players oh my god